Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access the workspace inside Pro Tools. Once you're in there, I'll show you how to make your internal hard drive an audio record volume. Keep in mind, you could always get in contact with me with any questions, comments, or ideas. Justin at wingsound.com. To get to the workspace, what you want to do is go to the window drop down menu and scroll down to find workspace. Or the key command on a Mac is option and semicolon, and on a PC it is alt and semicolon. Okay, so the workspace will allow you to access and search through your computer or any hard drives you might have mounted on that computer to find audio, video, session data, MIDI, whatever it is that pertains to your session or something you're looking for for that session. What's also really cool about the workspace, it'll allow you to manage your volumes, you know, your hard drives and things like that. To do so, you want to go over to where it says AV. So A represents audio, V, video. And you have these little letters here. You have T, R, and P. So T represents transfer, and that can be used for storing, transferring, or auditioning files, but cannot be used for recording or playback. R represents record and playback. And then you have P which represents playback, just the playback volume. So as you can see, it's real easy to make those changes. You know, if you have a hard drive mounted on your computer, it'll show up there and then you can change it right over here for, you know, transfer playback or record very easy. You know, really cool aspect. And you could do this all within Pro Tools without having to go to, you know, somewhere else to do the managing. Make sure you follow Wingsound on Twitter and Facebook to stay connected to a stream of new videos as well as cool music production links. Twitter.com slash Wingsound or search for Wingsound on Facebook.